Now, my other my other issue is this: for many many years, for many many years, I have saved and collected every golf scorecard from every course I have ever played. Mm -hmm. And I have done this with one goal in mind, and that was to wallpaper a room in my house with your yes. With my golf cards, not the score part, mm -hmm. but the back part, which indicated what golf right. course it was. Right. Now, I got this idea from the godparents of my son, Michael, Anita and Steve Jacobs. And you mm -hmm. remember Jake from Newsday. I do, I do. And they had once wallpapered an entire bathroom with matchbook covers oh, from uh -huh. all the places they'd been to. As a result of that, I'm now going back 40 years. As a result of that, I began collecting matchbook covers. Now, very few people, very few restaurants have these anymore because yeah. just people are discouraged from smoking. I have yeah. 500, 600 uh -huh. matchbook covers, but I, I, you know, I'm reluctant. That's hard. That's really hard to do. And I thought as a compromise, what I would do instead is paper a room with these golf carts. Yes. So I said to Carol, I'm, I'm, I'm going out mm -hmm. to the beach. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start taping them up. And she said, you can't do that. You're incompetent. <laughs> you have no attention span. <laughs> you have no patience. You'll get through with one row. It'll be so, so offline <laughs> that you'll put a hole through the wall. You'll take a hammer and smash the wall. <laughs> and I said, there is some truth to this. <laughs> so she suggested this. Now, I've got, I counted them out. I've got somewhere between 120 and 130 okay. scorecards. And she said, put them together in blocks of 20, like maybe three feet by four feet. You could probably get uh -huh. 20 and laminate them. Yeah. And then they'll be much easier to hang on a wall. And she suggested I need a graphic designer for this because mm -hmm. I can't do this by myself. No. Because can't. if I try to laminate something, I will laminate my hand <laughs> and I will go and I will be burned to death. Yeah, so I, and you can't peel it off if you make a mistake. If you make right. a mistake. You ruin the so you got to go to a pro. I agree. And, and you can get things laminated at places sure. like Kinko's, I think. Um, well, yeah, probably. Right? So I need a graphic designer. Now, Mr. Levy who sends me beautifully graphic design stuff, who lives in Virginia all the time. Mm -hmm. I hope he would be listening. And you could tell me if this is a good idea. We could block them out yeah. in maybe three by four feet, mm -hmm. and laminate them, and then put a little top on them and put that little top up against the, what do they call that, the trim? The cornice or something? Yeah, whatever they call mm -hmm. that thing at the top Molding. of the wall. Molding. Okay. Molding at the top yeah. of the wall. So how does that sound? Sounds good. I mean, I, I definitely think you need to bring the pros from Dover. I, I think, can't do this myself. Yeah. No. As Carol pointed out, like she picked up one score scorecard and said, which side do you want on this? Because a lot of the scorecard was didn't look good at all, but it was from Harbor Town, mm -hmm. And only about one quarter of the And I said, well, in that case, I would cut that one down. Mm -hmm. Or I would overlap. I could do some overlapping. Once she heard the word overlap, <laughs> she knew that I was wrong. Do you have, have you ever had a project like that that you wanted... You knew exactly what you wanted, but you were perhaps incapable of doing it yourself? Um, I am quite sure. I, I'm just having reservations about the, the, the artistic vision here. I you know, not not so much the execution. I are you sure you want to do this? I mean, the, I mean, my it sounds own, like okay. my wife. No. But my wife's comment was not in my house. Well, I mean, isn't that do, what do you're you getting want, to? Well, it's a few things. It's a few things. Well, do you I care about the resale this. value of your house? <laughs> um, I have a great answer. For and, this. and I'm trying actually to not sit in judgment and think what would be the corollary in my life. And shoes? There is one. No, no. Pictures no, of shoes. Clearly, it's Bruce ticket stops. Okay. Which I have well over 150. Okay, then, wouldn't you, know, you like to put them up on a wall? No. <laughs> no. That's, where, Guys, that's where we Guys, you'd diverge. want to do that. This is a guy I, I treasure I these, I and hats. they are like a record of my whole youth, my happiness, right. my right. adventures, my misadventures. They're <laughs> right. all there. But I like them in a book. 
I don't. I couldn't uh, like put plastic on them. And I like stick them on them the on a wall, wall for everybody like to a, see, like, a, like, a, like a deer head. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. That is the difference. You're right. That's, it's the trophy guy <laughs> thing. Guys who always hang and up like, stuff about them, their own wives. Absolutely. Wine. That's sure. So you understand women, this? Like hats. press them in a this little. This is why book. I was with you on the hat rack. Thing. That's right. <laughs> yeah. This is yeah. a guy thing. That's true. This is a guy yeah. thing. So we solved it. Now. I don't like the idea. Okay. Now, basically. Carol's response to this was, in essence, not in my house. <laughs> yes. <laughs> not in my house. So here's the great compromise. And this is, this is the indulgence of my life. When we bought this house in Delaware, as Nigel knows, because Nigel has been there, there is one little, if ever used, room in the house. And it's not actually a room. Newer houses in Delaware, which is a very large retirement area, come equipped, even two-floor houses, mm-hmm. That's right. No. Elevator. Elevator. Yes. I can put them in the elevator. <laughs> Nobody mean? goes in the elevator. <laughs> and late at night, I can open the door to the elevator and look at my golf scorecards. And even Carol has said, uh, okay, because we have people who, I don't know that our children have ever seen the elevator. It's just a door. It's just a door. You don't know what's. Behind that door. You have an elevator? <laughs> yes. I thought yes. you were saying you had a space f- for for the purpose of installing an elevator, which you would never yes. do. Yes, and came... it was installed before <laughs> we moved in. It's an actual You're elevator. Not arthritic. But but they You're... that's that's one of the things they s- feature. It's a feature so that when you get older. You don't have to walk down the steps. Ah, it was ah. either that, Liz, or the chair that's actually on the rail ah. of the stairs. Yes, that, so that, that was it the that. Sopranos. Do you know? <laughs> that's right. Tony Soprano's mother. That's right. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that anyone, I, honestly, I, nobody. You did not know you had an elevator. No, now. it's not anything you talk about. It's a little embarrassing, but it, it came is. with the house. Right. Do you and have I, a helipad? I don't have a helipad. <laughs> the elevator, by the way, it, it, it's not. It's not like the elevator at Macy's. It's quite small. Yeah. It's quite petite and stylish. Have an elevator man there. Yeah. We have a little Rail man. Little that well, operates we, it. well, we we call up before we're going to go out, and we ask if he would come and just sit there in his little suit. Does he have to wear a little he's like uniform? he's actually chimp size basically. <laughs> And he sits there, Freddie, and I say, Freddie, can we go to two? Because there is no three. It's just two. It's the one and two. On three. That's all there is. Lingerie, two. That's all there is. So I could put this. I could put this up in in my in my elevator, That's and nobody fitting. nobody would get work. angry. But I think I need a graphic design. You still need somebody. Yes. Yes. You do. But I it's can't a great do it idea. myself. No, you can't do it no. yourself. But but any guy would understand. That would become a Absolutely. destination room. <laughs> oh, sure. Although two Come. people can't stand <laughs> in the elevator. It's not because the first time Carol used the elevator, she transported herself and a suitcase upstairs. And I said, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Walk the steps. Was the suitcase full? <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I just thought, really? You know, and, and, and I don't know... You know, I'm sort of thankful we don't have young kids because they, you know, I think they'd ride the elevator all day long. Absolutely. Well, do you Why know anybody you? with an elevator in, in their house? No. I think some of the old Georgetown houses have yes, them. Yes, the, they do. I think the Georgetown house, yes, houses have do. them. Some yeah. of those Georgetown houses are incredibly steep. Yeah. And they have elevators. So anyway, mm-hmm. I should do this. Yes. Oh. I've got an escalator in my house. How great is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's always breaking down. Yeah, it is. <laughs> when are we getting new copy, Nigel? Yeah, I know. When I are keep, we getting new copy? I got caught up in the game last night. Now, I should say that in the ele- the elevator is a small, dark elevator shaft. There's no windows. If I were cool, I would call Harley and Aaron. Yeah, and I would ah, say, sure. yes. why don't, see you, ins- window. Why don't <laughs> you install the window so that I can see the floor <laughs> as it goes by? The one floor. And so people can see in and see my collection of golf scorecards. Once I get them laminated and actually put up, which I've been talking about this for 15 years. So you know I'm never going to do it. But I'd really <laughs> like to do it. Call Harley and Aaron now for real windows, not elevator windows. <laughs> Although maybe you could get windows if you didn't, if you had an elevator. Yeah, I, an elevator. I suspect sure. they would put them in. Sure. Most of the time, you wanted to look out into an exterior, but maybe into the interior of the house, you'd like a, a window. Maybe that would be a new sort of boutique way of yeah. selling windows at Window Nation. 
Call Harley and Aaron. Tell them you want windows. It's getting cold, boys and girls. It's a terrible day. By though. tonight, it's going to be in the 30s. Yeah. It's not, <laughs> not going to be 65 anymore no. like it was early this morning. Here comes Tony's mailbag. Got your email faxes and your notes. Here comes Tony's mailbag. Gonna read some for all you folks. From Steve in Wichita. I can see it now. It's late at night, almost 8 p.m. Mr. Tony is riding the elevator up and down with a bottle of Johnny Walker Blue, a cigar, wearing a PTI hat and his 36-inch jeans, staring at his collection of scorecards, scotch taped to the walls. Mm-hmm. Just add a flat screen and a lazy boy, you got your own moving sports bar. <laughs> but trust me, don't put a window in the elevator, your wife might sell tickets. Mm-hmm. Landon, Raleigh, North Carolina, you should see my half bath. It's wall- wallpapered in all my rejected Mr. Tony emails. <laughs> Andre Mowerman, Kingsport, Tennessee. Does Harry use the elevator to bring the urine specimens upstairs? <laughs> Here's a shared haiku. Future of soft meats, two-story elevator. What's next, a tin ear? <laughs> Paul Bailey. Go with digital scanning of the scorecards and high-quality printing of the, result, of the resulting layouts. Kinkos and others can help with this no problem. You can even enlarge the cards by 20 to 30% for easier reading by older eyes. They can even print out onto any number of formats, even large banners if you like. Lamination. That went out with typewriters, hand crank car windows, and rotary dial phones. That's you're, you're smiling. That's the way to go. Okay. And do it on a frame thing, like you did that Lillehammer picture. Yes, I should that do that. That you can move around, okay. so it's not laminated to your house. Josh Cromwell, Moselle, Mississippi. I have to agree with your wife on this one. I'm not sure that someone who can't even change a light bulb or often the, open the coffee creamer should try to cover an entire elevator with golf scorecards. <laughs> Sherry Eichberg in Rockville. The perfect solution to your elevator dilemma, and for everyone watching on News Channel 8, here's the ultimate home elevator operator, Otis, as painted on the inside of my mother-in-law's elevator. She even got the coveted window. You don't have to listen to him, talk, or pay him. It's classic. And from Lisa Dykes in Crofton, Maryland, love you, Mr. Tony. The show still stinks. I may be late to the party here since I'm just catching the podcast. But I think you should have somebody scan your golf cards and put them together digitally at whatever size you want. Hey, I can do that. You can then have the files printed or framed and then hung however you like or wherever your wife will allow. The upside is you don't do damage to the cards in the process. If you don't like something, you can change it around. That's the way to go. If you're out on your bike tonight, everybody, as always, do wear white. As you all know, first prize is a Cadillac Eldorado. Anybody want to see second prize? Second prize is a set of steak knives. Third prize is you're fired. 